How do you deal with a fear of speed bumps? You get over it slowly. Welcome back, guys. And we are back with our Peterborough save, the Posh Foundation Challenge, uh, Champions League Challenge more specifically, uh, with the long-term aim of trying to win the Champions League with Peterborough United in as few seasons as possible. Now, we are in Season 5. We're currently at the 29th of December, which is a little bit further forwards than where I left off in the last episode. I'm very excited to show you just what's happened. We are currently sitting in seventh place. We have been performing very, very well as of late. Really, really well. So well, in fact, that we are now three points behind Sheffield United, who are sitting in sixth place. So, you know, if we can carry on this form... Who knows where we'll end up? We're actually only nine points off Brentford in second place, and they are one of the teams that we will be coming up against in this episode. I'll show you the schedule. This is what has happened. I, when was the, I can't remember when the last episode was or what games we covered. I've got a feeling... It was VAR. Was it VAR? No, it was... It was about penalties. When did we score a penalty? I've got a feeling it might have been the end of October, maybe November. I can't quite remember. But anyway, since the 29th of November, we are unbeaten in the league. We have been in absolutely stellar form. Started with a 1-1 draw against Preston. Um, not really a change in... Did we change the tactic by then? I can't quite remember. But it was Ibrahim Cargo who got the goal. We then went to Wigan. Um, now, the changes we made, I, do you know, I watched a great video that Sealand came out with um, sort of talking about how I think we forget sometimes that football manager isn't just about the tactics. It's about everything. It's about keeping players happy, keeping the morale high, uh, the friendship groups, the mentoring groups, everything, everything in the game has an impact on what happens on the pitch on a match day, uh, training transfers, promises, you name it, staff. There's so many different things that you can tweak. So we went in, we tweaked a few things. We've set up a couple of decent set piece uh, routines, which um, I can't really say if they're working or not yet. It's still too early to tell. But the things we have changed are clearly have made an impact. Um, and as you can see, we started the month of December with a 4-1 away win against Wigan. Now, Wigan, they're not doing great. So, it, you know. But they weren't too far off us, to be fair. At the time of that game, we were only a few points ahead of them, to be honest. Just a few. Um, so to go and win 4-1 was just unbelievable. Cargbo got two goals. Josh Martin got a goal. He's been playing very well, actually. And Mika Biereth, the Arsenal loanee, also bagged a goal. He's actually been scoring a lot more recently, so I'm very happy with that. We then hosted Rotherham, and we smashed them 3-1. Again, their team down the bottom of the league. Um, Cargbo, Henderson, and Zidane Iqbal with a goal, which is good to see. We then went and played Huddersfield away, which was a, a tough game. No resolute, but we came away with a 1-0 win. Again, great result. Uh, Mika Biereth with the early sixth-minute goal. We then beat Hull 2-0. Cargbo and Biereth again combining... Uh, to win us those three points. Just a, a, you know, your standard, really solid home win. We didn't look troubled, kept a clean sheet, can't ask for much more. We then played Bristol City. Uh, this was the toughest game, and rightfully so, because Bristol City are, are right up there at the moment. Um, I, I almost think they were second when we played them. I think they were second or third. Either way, um, I think we took the lead twice. <clears throat> <clears throat> took the lead twice and unfortunately couldn't get over the line. But I'll take a point against Bristol from where we've come from. We then played Rotherham again, uh, this time away, and it was a 1-0 win. Dimitri Cornes, one of our VGens, getting on the score sheet with an absolutely outrageous effort. Um, I, I was going to show you it. I won't show you it now. Maybe we'll do some goal recaps towards the end of the season. Maybe I'll pick out like my favourite goals or something. In this episode, I'm going to bring you Norwich and Brentford. <clears throat> Two tough games. Now, Norwich are just a few places blast in the league. They're actually only four points away from us. So I think it will be a really good test to see if we can carry on our form before we head to the game against Brentford. 
which is going to be a real test. Uh, they're second in the league. They've only lost three times. They've got a great goal difference. They've just got a really good squad. And um, that will be a, a tough test. I wouldn't be disappointed with a draw against them. So I'm looking for a win against Norwich and a draw against Brentford. Let's get into it. We have got the January transfer window coming up. Um, as well as contract renewals in the work. Now, one of the contracts that I'm worried about is Dembele. We off tried offering him contract at the start of the season. He was asking for about, I, I want to say he was asking for about 28,000 a week, maybe even more. I can't quite remember. Let me just check what our budget is right now. We will, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. 23. Do you know what? I, I cannot, you know, justify spending that on, on one player. So what we'll do, we're going to go ahead and open up discussions again. See what he wants. A lot less. That's, that's quite surprising, to be fair. He, he only wants 17 and a half. We're going to offer him 16 and a half. Keep everything else the same. He's accepted it. And now he's made me look like a right melon. Thanks for that, Dembele. What I should also say is we did have our youth intake preview and it, it said it was an excellent, excellent, an excellent group coming through, uh, particularly fullbacks. There may be a couple of really good fullbacks coming through the youth system. Um, of course, I'll bring you that when we get to it. It's usually around February, March time when we get that, that um, squad that comes in and plays their game and we're able to scout them just a little bit better. So a little bit, little bit of uh, excitement there. One more thing to tell you about, and I'm not sure if this has happened to anyone else. Please let me know in the comments if you've experienced this. I had, now my press conferences, I, I find them very mundane and very similar, but I feel like they do have an effect um, on morale um, and they just make the game just a little bit more dynamic. So sometimes I'll just click through randomly. Sometimes I'll just have a certain pattern that I'm following. Um, I'm actually at the moment, I'm going for one slightly less positive and the rest positive results. Now, one uh, press conference I held maybe three or four weeks ago. Um, the board sent me an email following it. I've got no idea what I said, by the way. I could not find it for love nor money. I looked in, you know, you can go to home. If you didn't know this, you can actually go to home, go to history, press conferences, and you can look through all your press conferences and you can actually look at the questions that you answered. Now, I looked. I, I, I looked through the, the press conference. I've got no idea why. But the board sent me an email saying they were unhappy with my recent press conference and they were considering my position at the club. So as you can imagine, I was like, oh, bloody hell. Um, fortunately, I was able to convince them that whatever was said, you know, was, wasn't said with any malice. I still don't know what it was. And we kept our job. That could have been a very abrupt ending to this save and very embarrassing. Yeah. We've got to be careful. Well, this is just the, the cherry on top of the cake. We've actually been awarded the Sky Bet Championship Manager of the Month. As you can see, six matches, an 83% win ratio, 266 manager points. I don't know how that's calculated, but a really, really good month for us. I think, I'm just going to check, I think that's my second Manager of the Month only. Uh, milestones? Awards? It is. We, our last Manager of the Month award came in January 2024. So not, not too dissimilar um, time periods. Okay, we are enough waffling. We're getting into this game against Norwich. And this is the team we're going to stick with. No changes. This is the team that have been doing the business out on the pitch. Uh, we're currently sticking with Raymond in goal. Uh, McNamara, Cometio, Kent and Davis are the back line. Dumbia. As that ball winning midfielder, Henderson playing in front of him, um, <clears throat> Dembele and Martin out on the wings. And we're currently using Beareth and Cargo up top. Ricky J. Jones, unfortunately, is confined to the bench for now. He's, you know, he's doing okay. I, I feel a little bit bad. Just, it's just a case of these other two being in slightly better form. Um, and you look at the guys on the bench, they are doing the bit, the, the bit, the business as well. 
You know, look at these ratings. They are fantastic options to come off the bench. Roldan, by the way, what a player he is turning into. Um, I cannot wait to see how he is in a year or two. We've already had one bid we've had to reject in the first day of the transfer window. I'm sure we'll get a couple more. I don't want to lose him. He can play on the he can play on the right. He can play centrally. He is a fantastic defender and probably one of our hottest prospects. Let's get into this game. We are gonna we're gonna zoom through again. I'm gonna show you the highlights as they come thick and fast. Hopefully, with plenty of goals for us. I'm ve I'm well aware we are already ten minutes into the video with no match play. I mean, it's shocking. Riot, and we are off. I I should say one change I did make. I don't know if I ever recap this in the last video. I sacked Roy Keane. A bit controversial. I sat. He was my assistant manager. I have sacked him. And we've got someone else. Um, I can't actually remember who we brought in because I leave that to my staff. Um, I'm not really too concerned with that at the moment. I'm just trying to focus and get my head around other parts of the game. And then I'm slowly dipping into, you know, different things. I think scouting will be the next one. You know, setting up scouts properly and having faith that they'll be able to find the players that I'm looking for. Um, we might do that in this transfer window, to be fair. We have a highlight. Uh, I've just been talking through it. And Norwich, very close to getting in there, but it's cut out superbly. Martin, back to Davis, and Henderson, ball forwards. Ibrahim Cargbo has made an amazing run. It's a great first touch and a great goal. Ibrahim Cargbo, his 10th of the season, and another assist for Liam Henderson, who is just absolutely owning that midfield position for us. He's been fantastic. Um, part of me thought about selling him. We had a couple of uh, bids come in for him in the summer. I know some of the Italian clubs are interested. I don't want him to go anywhere. He is just brilliant. We are 1-0 up, and we're not even 10 minutes into the game. And we've got another highlight. I was going to pause it. Can we make it count? Cogbo looking for beer. He does get there. Cuts back to Cogbo, who shoots. It's a great goal. Oh, we are playing absolutely beautiful football. Two goals in the space of about two or three minutes. And we are running riot, and we are making a hell of a statement. As Danny McMahon... Mac Danny, blah, 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 blah. Danny McNamara has uh, apparently pulled his muscle. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances with these injuries. I'm going to get him off and bring on Roldan. And uh, let's, let's see what Roldan can do. He, I, I've, been, I've been hyping him up. Let's see what he can bring to this side. As we are currently in the playoffs. Oh my god. Another highlight. Norwich have uh, given us the ball back from a goal kick. The question is, can we capitalise as BRF picks up the ball, plays to Cargbo, switches it for Davis. That's a great ball. Back in the box. Dembele's there at the back post, and Dembele absolutely puts it away with ease. His third goal of the season. He's had a pretty bang average season so far, um, as has most of the team. He's not really recaptured the form that we saw, was it last season or maybe the season before, when he was just banging in goals and getting assists. What a start we've had here. 15 minutes in and we are 3 and up against Norwich. Sheffield United have gone, I think they've gone ahead elsewhere. Oh, they're currently they're level with Preston. As Preston go ahead and we go back up. Never mind, shut up, Chris. Okay. Another highlight, Roldan. Sorry, I was just drinking, drinking as the highlight popped up. Henderson from range. I mean, the keeper was stood still. I can only imagine he had a great view of the shot and uh, was pretty confident that it, that it was going to Whistle past the post. In the end, it dribbled past the post. Not the not the best hit from Henderson. So another highlight for us. Henderson plays it to Kent. Back to Henderson. Dumbia. Martin. Beareth. Cargbo. Out wide for Roldan. In for Dembele. He's fouled in the box. Two fouls. We'll take both of them. We'll have two penalties for that, Ref. Holy moly. They're just killing our players. And Cargbo for a hat-trick. It's a first half hat trick for Ibrahim Cargbo. This man, he is unreal. I mean, if you've not, if you don't know who this is, please look him up in your football manager saves. If you're doing a save with a championship side, hell, a League One side, anything of that caliber, you'll be able to get this guy. I, he cost me what seven hundred grand? Not even. I don't think he even cost me that. Maybe a little bit less. He has been phenomenal. We are four 0 up, and Norwich giving us the ball. This could be five before half time, uh, which actually works out great for us. I'm thinking of just pulling off two key players at half time, uh, just to rest them ahead of the Brentford game, which of course we play in the next three days, I think. May even be two. 
and we're on the ball. I mean, if we go in 5 0 at half time, we're not giving that away. Of course, don't forget, we, um, we did uh, infamously have that Huddersfield game where we gave up a four goal lead. Dembele to Martin. He's going to slip it through. Roldan's making the overlapping run. Look how good this guy is on the right hand side. In for Martin, cuts it across, and it's eventually blocked by Ben Gibson. And it's gone out for a corner. 42 minutes on the clock. Davis whips it in. Baptiste clears. Dembele scampers after it. Looking to play it back into the box. Goes back to Dumbia. Roldan into Dembele. Lovely little clip ball. Dembele looks in to beat his man. Back to Dumbia. Davis. Roldan. Will he shoot? He does. It's blocked. Countwell clears it. And eventually it goes out for a throw. We have been dominant. This is probably the best football I've seen this side play. And if we, honestly, if we continue this form, we're going up this season. Like this is this is crazy good form. Oh, Dan on the ball, Cometio forwards. Cargo has made a great run. Is he going to get his fourth of the game? Goes around the keeper and tucks it away. Ibrahim Cargo. I mean, he scored four goals in the first half. This man is insane. Unreal. Unreal. And there's the halftime whistle. 5-0. Yeah, we're resting these key players. Cogbo's going to come off. Um, let's say that's about as good as a first half as you'll ever see. I didn't make the subs. Let's do it now. I'm so stupid. Um, Cogbo's going to come off. I'm going to get Jones on. I want him, his confidence to, to really boost. So we're going to get him on. I'm going to take off. Dembele is putting a great performance. I'm going to take off Dembele and put on Hino. And then we'll leave the third sub until the last 10 minutes, just in case we get any injuries. The first highlight of the second half, we are on the ball. We played it from a, uh, a goal kick. Uh, a goal kick, sorry, a free kick, which I assume was given for offside. Jones has tried to look for the run of Roldan, not quite found him. And now Norwich on the diagonal to Wilson on that right-hand side. Plays the ball in. Cleared by Cometio. Back to Und... Und, Und what's his name? L L oh. Been undone by a name. Lund Lundaloo? I don't know. They've scored. That's all you need to know. Another highlight. This time for Norwich. Um, they've obviously been told at halftime to buck up their ideas. As they play a ball forwards, Martin uh, receives the ball from Kent, who wins it amazingly in the air. And now we... Control the ball again. Davis finds that forward path to Beareth. I love how he dropped deep from his position there to pick up that ball. Looking for a ball over the top for Jones. It's just a little bit too far in front. And uh, Carius, of all people, is the goalkeeper which Knights have chosen to try and lead them back into the Premier League. It's, it's not quite working at the moment, it's safe to say. Oh, no, that's... Oh, my God. I don't know which was worse. I don't know what was worse there. The fact we gave it away in that position or the fact that he missed. Another highlight. I didn't think there'd be this many highlights in the game. I, I can't remember the last time I had a game with this many highlights, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty entertaining. BOS. And, and, oh, again, looking for Jones. Jones is making all the good runs. We're just not quite finding him with those balls over the top. And uh, Connor Cody playing for Norwich there. Played out wide to Tete. They've, they've gone back to Carrius. And it looks like they've just resigned themselves to defeat as we win the ball in the middle of the pitch. Carrius just giving it away. And now Martin down the left-hand side finds, finds Henderson. Back to Davis. Henderson needs a little bit of help. Davis just needs that little, little movement off the ball. There's Dumbia offering his services. Great switch to roll down. Great first-time ball. And Jones headers it into the back of the net. And they've given it offside. I mean, it was really good up until the offside. It, Okay. I don't think it was offside, by the way. I'm not going to go back and check because I cannot be bothered. Right, we are coming to the end of the game. I've just realised I made all three subs. Okay, well, never mind. I forgot we subbed Roldan on in the first half. <laughs> oh, dear. I've had a mare. It's another highlight. It's going to be a free kick in a very dangerous position. Henderson, will he shoot or will he just play it in? He's played it towards the back post, and Cometio is the man who heads it over the bar. 
and it goes out for a goal kick. Five minutes left to play. It dawned, it's just dawned on me that this video is already 20 minutes long. So we are, uh, do you know what? I'm going to bring you the, the Brentford game in the next episode. I'm going to go and record that straight after this one. Um, I've actually got, you know, an evening to myself. So I'm going to, going to be busy recording a ton of videos, get through as much as I can and bring you guys lots of episodes, lots of content. Full-time whistle, 5-1. I didn't quite expect that. I mean, whoever that was there, he's devastated. He's on the floor. Uh, I mean, that was an excellent win, boys. Excellent win. McDamara with a possible strain. But Roldan, I mean, the influence he had on that game, what I thought was phenomenal. And we have moved up into the playoff places with that. Let's have a quick look. We never look at this. Let's have a quick look at what the fans are saying. Amy Torpy says, decent result, decent match. On to the next one. I mean, she's got 100 likes on that. Um, Seamus Kerr is a big fan of Ibrahim Cargbo. Not much more can be said about Cargbo's performance today. He was sublime, and the key component in Peter was dominant victory. I have to agree, Seamus. Uh, Nick says, yeah, Cargbo is pretty good, isn't he? Um, Andre, Andre Odesanya has gone low. People will overweight Cogbo for anything nowadays. Andre, what have you been watching, mate? Ah, it's crazy. Anyway, we're going to finish the video there. A, a absolutely fantastic win. Sends us into the top six. I couldn't ask for more. Bedford next. It's coming up in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying the series. Um, let me know if there's any improvements you'd like to see. Um, and I will see you very soon.